Laura, how are you? I'm doing great, but you had me on pins and needles last night yeah, about we... whether you could pull this off, mm -hmm. but clearly you could. All right. But where are all the caffeinated beverages? I couldn't even get a Diet Coke or a Red Bull anywhere in the hotel. Listen, I will neither affirm nor deny their location. <laughs> They're right. in there, <laughs> in the belly. All Thanks, right. Audrey. Thank you, Laura. Hello, Nashville. Welcome to our session on harnessing the power of generative AI. You know, I think it's only befitting that our creative team actually used generative AI to generate photos of me for the title slide. So they actually started off with the prompt of Picasso Laura. And uh, yeah, clearly that wasn't gonna work. So they then tried empowered Barbie Laura but the Gen AI came back with basement Barbie Laura instead. So the creative team, notice I'm saying creative team a lot here to give them credit for their work. Um, they finally settled on Nashville Laura where the generative AI made me look like an older female version of Willie Nelson. Thank you, creative team, love you. Okay, so Mike said in his keynote yesterday, that generative AI, it's transformative for insurance. And with relevant application of it and of artificial intelligence, generative AI could add up to 1.1 trillion, that's with a T, dollars to the total value of the PNC industry worldwide. But where does that value lie in the insurance life cycle? And what are the most useful and productive use cases for our carriers? From our investigations with analysts and with you, our customers, we hear that generative AI can add value in three key areas. Analyzing claims data to provide product insight into new revenue opportunities or to proactively prevent losses. Generating code to automatically create new lines or just tweak existing ones and synthesizing and simplifying data. So agents, underwriters, and adjusters they're all provided with a big picture view of their risk on demand. Now, regardless of where the business opportunity lies, we believe generative AI is not, not about replacing people. Unlike the comments that were posted to, to my LinkedIn post on generative AI, this is, these are actually the comments. Um, by the way, the fan favorite comment was that uh, lawyers go first. It is about augmenting existing workflows so employees can do the job they were hired to do better, quicker, and more accurately. Guidewire allows you to quickly get business value from generative AI by combining platform capabilities like you heard about yesterday, like advanced product designer and workflow designer with brand new features. Now, the three themes we're going to focus our generative AI product vision on are process intelligently, configure faster, and accelerate insight. Okay, so now I'm going to loosen up a bit here. I'm going to demonstrate a few of our generative AI future features integrated into Guidewire. Allow me to introduce you to Future State Insurance Company. A standard lines carrier looking to grow their commercial lines revenue to offset the decline in personal lines auto. The demo you are about to see, it's the theme of today and yesterday, it's live, completely live, and to prove that it's not smoke and mirrors, let's pan to our demo team who are driving it while wearing their Barbie-inspired future state t-shirts that I personally designed for them. You're welcome. A brief caveat before we begin, what you're going to see is a combination of existing platform capabilities and those visionary Gen AI future features that are gonna have different release schedules. Let's begin. Streaming Live is the first of our three demo episodes. Identify new revenue opportunities, which begins with our BOP, business owner policy, product owner, Bonnie, She's leveraging a near real-time data stream in Data Studio to understand what's happening 
in the carrier's business. Now, Bonnie doesn't have to wait for a report to be created by IT. She can query the data now herself. Bonnie types in the business question, prepare list of declined claims by account for the year. Bonnie's looking for product opportunities by finding product holes. Data Studio converts that question to SQL and returns a list of accounts. Aviator Pizza rises to the top of the list. This is data. This is not insight. So Bonnie publishes the data set that we just created in Data Studio to explore. Let's transition now to explore. Bonnie leverages the Gen AI chat feature and types in the request, display top loss causes. Explore displays the loss causes, and she discovers, lo and behold, cyber is actually causing the highest number of losses. Now, Future State doesn't currently offer cyber liability, but it could. And Bonnie sees this as a new commercial lines opportunity when it's added as a coverage to the BOP line. So she kickstarts the addition of this new cyber liability coverage using our product generator. Our product generator, it leverages generative AI to create product mappings from policy documents. That is a super useful tool for requirements gathering. Bonnie uploads a standard cyber liability document into the product generator. The generative AI it kicks into action and it's extracting all that coverage data. The cyber liability coverage is added to the visual representation of BOP. Notice cyber's at the top and then expanded on the right-hand side of the screen. The human auditor, Bonnie, confirms the coverage is added correctly and then finishes off adding the coverage details in our advanced product designer. Behind the scenes, she also adds rating details using cloud rating. Cyber liability, it's now available for sale on the BOP line. And that ends episode number one, where we demonstrated real-time data insight and, of course, automatic product generation. Episode number two, it's just like Netflix, or stream, like how I watch Netflix, I stream them one after the other. Agent as advisor. What we hear from you, our customers, is that captive agents, they stick to selling coverages that they're comfortable with. And one of our standard lines carriers told us that 80% of their commercial lines business is only sold to 20% of their captive agents due to lack of agent comfort with the line. Let's change that. Let's support the agent through an internal assistant approach. The captive agent. Archie, he's using our new Jutro agent experience. I think it looks amazing, but clearly I am biased. He uses his assistant to look for quoting opportunities for the new cyber liability coverage that we just added in episode one. The internal assistant was trained on, this is cool, so you're gonna have to listen, data source from our own science model six, and also policy forms. It identifies Aviator Pizza as one of the top accounts to target, so we navigate to the account. Because Archie is new to selling cyber liability coverage, he's gonna ask a couple of newbie questions like, what's the benefits of cyber liability? He can use this response to sell the benefits of cyber to Aviator Pizza. And then he's going to ask another one, what's excluded? To provide even more support for Archie, our assistant invokes logic in Policy Center, creating a draft change endorsement, adding the cyber coverage. To highlight the conductor of this process, we're going to transition into Policy Center. We're going to access the draft change endorsement that the assistant triggered Note the change in the cost. Now let's go and issue this change endorsement. Cyber coverage is now added to Aviator Pizza's BOP policy. That ends episode number two, where we demonstrated an internal advisor and 
Oh, yeah, automatic creation of change endorsements. Episode number three in our season finale, deliver expert claim service. Gen AI, it's the great skill leveler. When it's integrated into a modern insurance platform, it raises workers to the top tiers of their performance. In this scenario, our claims adjuster, Claire, is new to adjudicating cyber liability. I mean, let's cut her some slack, right? We just added it in scenario number one like five minutes ago. Before Claire even sees a cyber claim, the future state claims BA leveraged our workflow designer to create a workflow uh, to automate portions of the cyber liability claim. Automating an entire cyber claim is not realistic. We focus on automating manual, redundant activities like initial exposures, reserves, and activities so Claire can focus on more complex activities that require human intelligence and empathy. From her desktop in Claims Center, Claire sees a manual review activity for Aviator Pizza. She clicks on the activity and immediately comes up to speed on the claim by reviewing the AI-generated description, which highlights all key events that occurred on this file. Empowered with this knowledge, Claire jumps into the claim summary for Aviator Pizza, and she sees from the summary that the reserve is currently set at 10K. Now remember, Claire is new to adjudicating cyber. So she's going to use her internal assistant to help her understand what her next action is. Uh, we're then going to return a list of similar claims and she's gonna navigate to the pizza not claim. After a quick review of Pizza Knot's timeline, she sees that the adjuster has increased the reserve to 20K, up from the initial 10K. Claire now knows what her next action is on Aviator Pizza, so she navigates back to the file and confirms her decision to increase the reserve using the internal assistant. Claire then navigates to the reserve screen and manually increases the reserve to 20,000. The history of all significant events that occur on this file, they're captured on this timeline. That ends episode number three, where we demonstrated, oh, let me think, oh yeah, AI-generated claim summary, a visual timeline, and of course, a visual assistant. Whew. Oh man, I'm tired, that was a lot. I could use one of those caffeinated beverages. Thanks, Aubrey. So the future features that we demonstrated, you're gonna see them highlighted on the slide behind me. In all three episodes, dashes of generative AI were integrated into Guidewire, augmenting workflow so that employees can do their jobs better, quicker, and more accurately. Generative AI, it's set to revolutionize our industry over the next decade. With the right preparation and, of course, platform, Guidewire is going to help you harness its power. Now, before you leave, lastly, my demo team and I would like to thank you for attending our session. We leave you with our last AI-generated slide. Make sure you stand by your little Barbie. Please remember to visit our Gen AI booth at the product launch. Thank you.